Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire! <laughs> and I am super elated to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop video for you today. It looks like we're going to be watching a video with Niels and Bianca. Bianca and Niels. Niels and Bianca. However way you want to say it. Wait, do I even know their last names? By the way, in Oklahoma, we say Niles and Bianca. So, do not let your hearts be troubled. I am going to be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about this competition, performance, or birthday party. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. This is gonna be good. Or should I say, this gonna be good. Okay. From the looks of it, uh... Okay, it looks like it's maybe like a teacher introduction, kind of solo improv. This is my favorite kind of stuff. So I'm going to tune in, get comfortable in my seat, and try not to laugh because they are funny. <laughs> There's the, that old band. <laughs> I love the old band. <laughs> That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Band, folks. Oh man, you know the band is good when you can't see any movement. They're just like, <laughs> they're good. Shake. Ah, yes. <laughs> See, I love when couples have worked together for a long time, <clears throat> and when they do improvs, they just kind of read each other, do some like mirroring, that's fun. Yes! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boom! Fun, 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 fun. I tell you folks, I love them. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about anybody's criticism. I don't care about all the stuff people might say about people who are in the limelight, who are really kind of having their moment. Because you always have haters out there, folks. Those are people who just are just mad. Just mad to be mad. But I will tell you, what I like about them is that one word. There's one word I like about them. And it's what I call style. When I look at their silhouette, 
I know who it is. It isn't because of the types of movements together. It's mainly because of the personality in their movements. And I love that. It reminds me of a time when Lindy Hop had nothing but style and when no one knew how the technique worked it was just a bunch of moves and creativity and people just trying different things all the time it reminds me of that individualistic focus that is intrinsic in many other art forms that i used to do but for whatever reason that moment right before i got into lindy hop it got really boring and conspicuous and everybody doing the same thing and it kind of kept me away from it they are the kind of dancers that could have won me. If I saw them in a jam circle, especially that jam circle that sold me and got me like fired up about wanting to abdicate my formal dance training and go right into another world of Lindy Hop, they could have possibly done that. I would, it, may, it may not be a jam circle. I'll take that back. It may not have been a jam circle. If they were doing like aerials in jam circle, maybe, maybe. But if it was like, one of their performances like in a Strictly, if I saw a Strictly of them doing something and some of my teachers doing it at the same time, like when I first got in, folks, folks, I know you know the feeling I'm talking about when you love this music and this dance so much that you realize other people don't like it and you can't get them to like it and you're just like, don't you hear all these intricacies? And then... Sometimes when you play them the music and you kind of look at their expression, you can tell that you're just really into it and they're not really feeling it. It's like when you see the movie before your friend and you get all hyped up about it and then you go see the movie again with your friend and during the movie you're turning to your friend to see what their expressions are. And your friends are like, it's the worst feeling. That's what it's like for me. When I'm enjoying swing music and swing dancing and I'm around people who don't know how to do it. And then I, I step back and I go, oh, I see why. I see why. It, it's just that in many cases, it's not enough eye candy. It isn't hard hitting. There's something missing in swing that's not as <clears throat> forced that a lot of contemporary music has that just really gets people's attention. But I think this couple... What they have is the ability to get people's attention just because they do things differently. What do I mean by different? I don't necessarily mean original. They remind me of some of my favorite dancers from the vintage times, like the Savoy Ballroom, Harvest Moon Ball, that particular style of dancing, but mixed with, you know, like really silly humor. I, for me, I'm reminded of like the Three Stooges. A lot of those vintage clips, a little bit of Charlie Chaplin. I love that genre of movie making and humor. And I, I get that vibe, particularly from him. I get like really, I get like I Love Lucy, uh, I Dream of Jeannie from her. I get that kind of vibe. And I love that. I love that. I really do. They know how to dance. They have all the technique stuff you can do. But they don't choose to just like embellish all of that. For the sake of being just this homogenous shell, they entertain people. And I wish there were more dancers like this that could just simply just entertain us. Just be themselves and have a good time and be inspirational and, and keep pushing the genre uh, by pushing themselves. A lot of times when you're in the circuit like this, I get it. You get busy just teaching and you forget that, whoa, this is about social dancing and this is, a, this is about something that we like first. Because it's hit us and then out of us we've now been able to share our, what we feel so deeply about with others and I hope they never burn out I really do because usually most you know couples like this they have like some kind of falling out or something or the Beatles break up or you know they just kind of get burned out of just the scene or life you know life happens and you just kind of mature and then you're just like what am I doing this for where am I going and I hope they stay on fire I, I still think they have many, many years to go and, and insp inspiring really new generations of dancers because I haven't seen really uh, a lot of dancers coming behind them that are really kind of making their unique mark. But I am on the hunt for it. I am looking for that. That makes me invigorated and excited. I spend hours, folks. I've got terabytes worth of footage that I've put together 
to share with my own community. So if you you need that kind of inspiration, this is all I do is I work on this hardcore every day, working on new ways to do Lindy Hop. So when I watch dancers like this, it keeps me going as a professional to continue to work on my craft. So I encourage you, get involved. If you're not doing Lindy Hop yet, if you're sitting on the sidelines, you're watching a YouTube video, you're like, no, I'm good. I'm just wanting to laugh at your videos. I'm telling you guys, it's so worth it. It will change your life. Uh, it'll change your health, it'll change just your vacations, it'll change your travel life. Everything is so much better. It's enriched because of this amazing dance and music. And so um, I encourage you to get involved. If you guys want to try out some classes, you can take some of my free classes below. I got like 30 free classes you can check out. We'll really help you just kind of see some of my creativity and like how we approach Lindy Hop. We really dumb it down. Uh, if you guys want to just dive in, you're like, look, dance man, I just need to know how it works, okay? I just need to, what's objective, what's subjective, just show me just the math of it, how it works. I've done that. I spent a lot of hours doing that. So I would encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership if you are just wanting to accelerate quickly and get good fast. That's something that uh, a lot of our students are doing. So with that said, if you guys uh, like what you saw today, make sure you subscribe to the channel at the end of this video. Uh, share the content. These dancers are awesome. Take their classes. If you ever get a chance to do that, take their, take their classes. Get pictures with these people. These people are like living legends. Swing dancing is not very big, so keep that in mind. And so the people who do this put their lives and their hearts into this. So we want to keep this thing going, and we appreciate you all's support. So with that said, if I don't see you in one of my classes online, hopefully I'll get a chance to see your comments about this wonderful video in the reaction video comment section. With that said, take care.